Hello viewers, today I will be explaining the features of vector actor model. The outlines are quantization, angular momentum and its types, vector actor model and its features, what is spatial quantization and what is spin quantization. The objective of the present talk is to learn about features of vector actor model. Learning outcomes. After learning this topic, learners will be able to define what is quantization, explain angular momentum, point out the special features of vector actor model, describe space quantization and spin quantization. Let us learn some basics. What is quantization? Quantization is a concept that a physical quantity can have only discrete values. For example, the number of atoms in a matter is quantized because it is composed of certain number of individual atoms. The number of electrons in an atom is quantized. The energy of an electron in various orbits is quantized. What is angular momentum? All rotating particles or bodies about an axis will have an angular momentum. This electron is orbiting around the nucleus in the orbit and it will have an angular momentum which is directed along this direction perpendicular to the plane of this orbit. In an atom, electron can have two types of rotations. One is revolution about the nucleus in an orbit and the next is rotation of the electron about its own axis called spin of the electron. So, every rotation will contribute angular momentum to the electron. So, this electron has revolutionary motion as well as rotating about its own set called spin motion. So, the angular momentum is due to these two kinds of motion. So, the angular momentum can be defined as the moment of the linear momentum mv and is given by L equal to mvr. Angular momentum L equal to mvr. According to Bose atom model, stationary orbits are those in which electron has an orbital angular momentum which is an integral multiple of h by 2 pi. When electrons are in the stationary orbits, they will never radiate energy and we will not get any spectral lines. If electron absorbs energy and excited to higher energy levels and when they jump back to the inner, inner orbits, it could radiate energy. So, L, one expression is angular momentum L equal to MBR. According to Bohr, it can be written as NH cross where H cross equal to H by 2 pi and this letter N later will be noted as principal quantum number and it can have values from 1, 2, 3 up to infinity and N never can be equal to 0. If N equal to 0 means the electron will be in falling into the nucleus. So, N can never be equal to 0. So, angular momentum L has two expressions here. M, V, R that is moment of the linear momentum or product of linear momentum and radius of the orbit which is equal to N H cross. The classical view of electrons in various orbits is given here. Sommerfeld especially, he noted that electron instead of orbiting around the nucleus only in circular orbits, 
when relativistic correction to mass is applied an electron can orbit in various elliptical orbits so this electron once again this electron can revolve around the nucleus in this elliptical orbit and it can go like this it can go like this it can revolve around the nucleus like this so according to classical view electron can revolve around the nucleus in all possible orientation of this elliptical orbit the elliptical orbit can have all possible orientations around the nucleus but according to vector atom model it is not so the two distinct features of vector atom model are spatial quantization of electron orbits that means electron cannot have all possible orientation it can have only certain possible orientations only so yes you can see when the electron is revolving around the nucleus like this its angular momentum will be directed like this now if you apply a magnetic field this angular momentum can presses about this applied magnetic field so if the electron is revolving in this orbit angular momentum will be directed and when there is a magnetic field this orbital angular momentum will be processing about the applied magnetic field now according to vector atom model this orbital angular momentum in magnitude and in direction should be quantized that means according to this model it can have all possible orientations but according to vector atom model the orientations of the elliptical orbit should be quantized in magnitude and in direction and the second feature is spin quantization so in addition to the uh, revolvement of electron in the orbit electron can have spin about its own self about this axis or it can spin around its own axis like this this is called spin quantization now according to vector atom model even this spin the angular momentum arising due to the spin motion of this electron should be quantized in magnitude as well as in direction so from this slide you understand that two types of angular momentums are coming one is due to orbital motion of this electron in the orbit so the angular momentum is called orbital angular momentum as per vector atom model this orbital angular momentum should be quantized in magnitude as well as in its direction and the angular momentum coming due to the spin motion of the electron should also be quantized in magnitude and direction now let us explain what is spatial quantization already i explained this figure so if the electron is revolving like this its orbital angular momentum will be in this direction suppose if electron chooses another orientation of the orbit and if if the electron is press, uh, uh, rotating around the nucleus in this direction then its angular momentum will be in along this direction right now this angular momentum in magnitude can be written as m v r which is equal to l into h cross this l is orbital angular momentum according to quantum mechanics l should be replaced by square root of l into l plus 1 so angular momentum l becomes root of l into l plus 1 into h cross this h cross is outside the root so by vector atom model concept this angular momentum should be quantized in magnitude now it should be quantized in magnet in direction also right so we define spatial quantization like this quantization of this orbital angular momentum both in magnitude and in direction in three dimensional space along the direction of the external magnetic field applied along z axis is called space quantization 
quantization of orbital angular momentum both in magnitude and its direction in three dimensional space about this external magnetic field applied along z axis is called spatial quantization now in this expression m represents mass of the electron v represents velocity of the electron r is the distance of the electron from the nucleus and l is orbital quantum number L is orbital quantum number and H crosses H by 2 pi. Now, this orbital angular momentum has to be quantized in direction also. For this, let us take this diagram. Now, you can see the orbital angular momentum should be quantized in direction. For this, we have to take the projection of this L vector on the on this along this z axis okay that is called you can see here yeah the projection of l along z direction is given by l z which is equal to ml h cross so we are representing one more quantum number in the earlier slide i said L is orbital quantum number that is coming due to the orbital motion of the electron. Now we are telling L z equal to m l h cross. This m l is called magnetic orbital quantum number. M l is called magnetic orbital quantum number. In the presence of the magnetic field only, this orbital angular momentum presses about this external magnetic field and the projection of this L on Z axis is given by this expression and there is a new quantum number called M L which is called magnetic orbital quantum number. This M L can have values from minus L to plus L including 0. That means M L can have 2 L plus 1 values. Thus, L Z is given by this expression M L H cross. Now let us take for example L equal to 2 then M L can have minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2 because we have kept the condition L M L can have values from minus l to plus l including 0. So minus l, l we have chosen 2. So minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2. Now this l can be visualized as a vector on the surface of this cone as shown here. So this magnitude of orbital angular momentum is given by square root of l into l plus 1 h cross. Thus, L can have discrete values only and hence it is quantized. So, from this diagram you can see L equal to 2 means how many values? 5 values are there. Now, you can see, you can see if the electron is orbiting in this elliptical path, its magnetic orbital quantum number will be directed in this direction and it takes the value of 0. Suppose if, if ML equal to plus 1. So ML is plus 1 means that magnetic orbital quantum number will be directing in this direction. So the electron can be revolving in this orbit. Okay. Like this. Next one. If ML equal to plus 2, it is directed here. So ML equal to minus 1 here, minus 2 here. Now you can see how many values? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values are there. So for L equal to 2, ML, magnetic orbital quantum number can have 5 orientations. So if you apply a magnetic field here, this, this magnetic orbital quantum angular, angular momentum will be processing in this direction. 
and along this means it will be processing like this. So you are getting the projection of ML along the external magnetic field is given by you see ML we have taken 2. So according to this formula 2 H cross. If ML is 1 its projection on external magnetic field will become 1 H cross. ML equal to 0 means so 0 to H cross becomes 0 only. Minus 1 means minus 1 H cross. Minus 2 means LZ becomes minus 2 H cross. Now you can understand that when L equal to 2 there are only 5 orientations possible. So one of the uh, electron orbit could be for this ML equal to 2 the orbit will be like this. For ML equal to 1 orbit orientation is changing. ML equal to 0 the orbit orientation is changing. So only 5 orientations are possible. Earlier I said how it is quantized in magnitude like L equal to MVR or LH cross or square root of L into L plus 1 H cross in magnitude only that value it can have. So you say that it is magnet, um, quantized. Now in this particular slide you find that the orientation of the elliptical path of the electron is also quantized. So if it is like this, the angular momentum is directed here. This is applied magnetic field. So this is the angle theta between the angular momentum and the applied magnetic field. So this theta can have certain values only. You see here for ML equal to 2, this is angle. For ML equal to 1, this is angle. So like this, certain orientations are possible. Thus, L can have discrete values only and hence it is quantized. Now next we will see what is spin quantization. So all we know that it can have clockwise spin or anti-clockwise spin. So you can say the spin quantum number can have plus half or minus half values. Now just like orbital angular momentum, the spin angular momentum S yes, of an electron also can be quantized both in magnitude and direction in three dimensional space in the direction of the magnetic field is known as spin quantization. Just like orbital angular momentum, spin angular momentum is also defined and we find that it should be quantized. The electron spins about an axis. This axis is passing through the center of mass of this electron and definitely it will be resulting in angular momentum. Right? Now, just, uh, just earlier, we, the magnitude of the spin angular momentum S yes, can be written as S yes, H cross or it is equal to square root of S yes into S yes plus 1 H cross. Now, this is the magnitude, the spin angular momentum in magnitude is represented by this expression and it should be quantized. It should also be quantized in its direction. So what we have to do? We have to take the projection of S along the direction of Z axis. So for this, you just see here, electron, this is orbital motion. When the electron is moving in the orbit, it will be spinning about itself and moving along the orbit. So due to the spin motion, it gets spin angular momentum in this direction. Now, according to vector atom model concept, it should be quantized both in magnitude and direction. So, magnitude can be calculated using this expression. Now, how to find out how to quantize S in direction? For that, what you have to do? We have to take the projection of the spin angular momentum along the z direction, which is written as S is z. So is z equal to ms h cross. So you find one new quantum number here. This is what called magnetic spin quantum number or magnetic spin angular momentum quantum number. Both are one and the same. You can say magnetic spin quantum number or magnetic spin angular momentum quantum number. 
just like orbit magnetic orbital quantum number ms can have two s plus one values excluding zero magnetic orbital quantum number can have two l plus one values including zero here magnetic spin quantum number s can have two s plus one values but excluding zero so let us let us take an example when s equal to half ms can have how many values two s plus one value so two into half plus one you get two values that means yes z could be plus half h cross if you take the projection here it could be plus half h cross which will be directed in this direction if s if s equal to minus half then you can see this s will be pointing in the downward direction and s is it will be directed downward direction so it can have it can spin up or it can be spinning down if it is clockwise spin the spin angular momentum will be directed like this if it is anti clockwise spin then the spin angular momentum will be directed in the opposite direction right so here you can see the picture you can see when s equal to plus half the spin angular momentum will be like this and its projection on the y in the on the z axis will be yes z equal to plus half h cross suppose if the spin of the electron is anti clockwise direction then you should consider s equal to minus half that time it that s z will be minus half h cross it will be directed in this direction so you can find that the spin angular momentum is quantized in magnitude with this expression and in direction by this expression thus the angular momentum due to orbital and spin motions of an electron are quantized both in magnitude and in direction and are represented by the vectors l and s because direction is involved you call this atomic model as vector atom model i hope you have understood this concept and the features of vector atom model thank you